America is trumpeting its Submit for Democracy as a big event, which, however, has caused big confusion. First, hey, let's, let's all talk about, you know, how to keep this right when we're not even getting it right. Yeah, legitimacy. A country with near electoral dysfunction <laughs> now in the position to teach other democracies how to endure? Well, that's interesting. But to be fair, we can't blame Biden too hard for that. No, 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 no. After all, who could foresee 2021 in 2019? Well, the second confusion. How one defines the criteria for which countries are democracies that should participate. I haven't understood his initiative so restricted only to the question who should attend. Yeah, who should and should not. That was in 2020, but even recently, some American Democrats could still not figure it out. Eight Senate Democrats have written to President Biden, urging him to clarify the criteria for who is invited to summit for democracy. Biden has never clarified. And people just wonder, so a democracy summit doesn't even have a democratic process. Why is this country in and that country out? Why some countries first out and then somehow in? In, out, in, out, in, out. <laughs> <sighs> and the Singaporeans go like, we remember our prime minister had this conversation one year ago. Biden doing is having a kind of coalition of democracies that would bring in people like yourself. Is that part of the framework that you could imagine working? In? I think not very many countries would like to join uh, basically a coalition against those who have been excluded. To try and make a lineup, Cold War style, I don't think that's on the cards. And one year later, Singapore is out. I mean, good member American diplomats. But is it a summit for democracy or is it a summit against certain countries? Now, let's have some serious talk over democracy. It's not sugar and soda, an American invention that could be standardized and exported worldwide. And even with sugar and soda, many Chinese will tell you, no, I prefer liang bai kai, cold boiled water, the way lots of Russians would fancy bread kvass, and Belgians would offer beer. And if you force someone who drinks only cold boiled water to have bread kvass, People across the region are exhausted and desperate after a decade of disaster. After 20 years, America withdraws from Afghanistan, leaving the country in complete chaos. Let's get it straight. Is democracy a good value? Yes. Demo means people and Christian means power. And anyone from the public would say, I want the power to rest in people. So how many types of democracy are there? Democracy is not uh, defined by the West. No. This is a list from Wikipedia. I bet you have to spend a whole morning going through it before forgetting about it in the afternoon. And of all these types, is American democracy admirable? Well, yes, only if you are a super, super rich American. Money has flowed in and come to totally dominate our politics at the local, state, and national levels. Dollarocracy means the rule of the dollars. One dollar, one vote. When you have $14 billion and it takes $14 billion to elect a president, you've got to wonder what kind of democracy is this? <laughs> one last thing. Don't forget democracy's appeal lies in the right to make choice. Let those who don't drink sugar and soda have their water, because that's what works best for them. After all, all drinks may satisfy a person the way different types of democracy may serve the people. I'll see you next time. Cheers.